Alejandro, Alejandro, don't call my name, Fernando, I'm not your day. Buen día, hello guys, how are you, como estão? I'm Karolinti from karolinti.com and this is European Portuguese lesson. Today I will share with you some curiosities about Portuguese first names and you will get to know the most popular names in Portugal in 2021. Pick and conmigo. In the most European countries and in Portugal as well, to preserve national language and culture was created a chart of names that are not allowed and a list of the names that are officially approved. Note, if you are a foreigner living in Portugal, presented rules don't apply for you. What are names not allowed? First of all, non-Portuguese names like Jimmy, James, Jack and so on. Two, names with not Portuguese spelling. Thomas is not allowed, but Tomas is. Three shortened versions of different names are not allowed as well. Alexandre is allowed, whereas Alex is not. Not allowed are also names which are offensive. No losers in Portugal. Five banned are names which can be easily confused with a surname. Not allowed are also names that are too silly. For example, Lal. In Portuguese, list of the band names usually are names that have spelling differences to traditional Portuguese names. But there are also subgems as Rihanna, Calvin, Sephora, Wolf, Hendrix, or Paris and Thor. Remember, these names are banned in Portugal for Portuguese parents. Whereas in Brazil, where there's no limitation in giving a name to a child, such names as Facebook, pronounced Facebooky or Nokia are quite common names. Do you enjoy my lessons? If yes, leave your thumb up, write a comment, subscribe to my channel and consider supporting it. What are names officially approved in Portugal? Let's have a look. First of all, you can have up to two first names in Portugal. For example, Maria Catarina, Maria Carolina. This rule for sure helps in differentiating children at school as there are many Marias. The combination of two first names usually ends up calling a child by her or his second or first name or combination a mix of two names. For example, Maria Luisa can be called Malu. Approved names must be among those in Portuguese onomastics or have to be adopted graphically or phonetically to Portuguese language. Tomas, for example, not Thomas. Spelling of approved name must comply with an official spelling at the time of the registration. Given name cannot raise doubts about sex of a child. But this regulation applies only to first name, as in Portugal is quite common, it's possible to name a man with a feminine second first name, for example, João Maria, or to name a woman with a second first name, masculine, for example, Maria João. Foreign names in Portugal are admitted in their original forms only if registrant is a foreigner, or if he was born abroad, or has other than Portuguese nationality, or one of the parent is a foreigner, or one of the parent has other than Portuguese nationality. Keeping in mind all those rules in giving a name to a child in Portugal, let's see the most popular feminine names in 2021. Let's start with number 10. Desh, Laura, Nove, Mariana, Oito, Francisca, Sete, Beatriz, 6. Benedita, 5. Carolina, 4. Alice, and the top 3 is 3. Matilde, 2. Leonor, and the winner is 2 years in a row, number 1, Maria. I quite like Matilde and Leonor. Which ones do you like? Let me know in the comment section down below. 
those presented names are really traditional, are really Portuguese and are beautiful too. Let's see the list of the most popular masculine names in 2021 in Portugal. 10. Miguel. 9. Martin. 8. Gabriel. 7. Santiago. 6. Lorenzo. 5. Tomás. 4. Afonso. And the top 3. 3. Duarte. 2. João. And the winner is... 2 years in a row. Francisco. Did you find your favorite name in this list? What's the most popular name for a girl and what's the most popular name for a boy in your country? Do you have any limitations in giving a name to a child? Personally, I prefer traditional names. But what's your view on this one? Let me know all about it in the comment section down below. That's all for today. Thank you for watching till the end of this episode. For more content, you can see my previous lessons. Don't forget also to leave your thumbs up, share and subscribe. Take care and I see you soon. Abdullah!